Just thought I'd include you guys on my last set of warm-ups. Getting the pull-ups in. American Ninja Warrior training comes in play right here. Oh, epic fail. Alrighty, guys. This is going to be one passing of four. Good evening, everyone. So, how are you doing? Right, sorry, I'll, I'll stop being a creep. Uh, anyways, I hope you like the new material. <laughs> kind of ridiculous out there. Uh, you know, I'm just being me. Uh, it's just kind of how I act, you know. No monitor, no filter. I'm not filtering myself anymore. <clears throat> anyways, uh, workout. I pretty much just makeshifted that myself. But, um, all the tools that I have at the gym, um, and it was a really good workout. I <laughs> really destroyed it. Uh, to expand on what I talked about earlier, uh, the question of how long do you train every day, <clears throat> what I meant to say is it doesn't matter how long you train every day. That's not the goal of the workout. Your goal is not to be in the gym two hours every day. That is not a good goal. You should try to, um, well, not, not that being in the gym for two hours a day is a bad thing, um, but if you can do the two-hour workout that you did last week and condense it, uh, work harder, and finish that in one hour, you'll have a much better workout. Much, <clears throat> much more will be done for you, for your body. Uh, I speak from experience. I used to be one of those guys that kind of just talked and uh, ran his mouth instead of uh, really working hard uh, at the gym. And then I started timing myself. Uh, I would just, um, kind of what I do now, I will let my Fitbit just go on timer. Uh, it'll <clears throat> pretty much just track the amount of uh, time that's gone by. And after every set, I'll look at the clock. Uh, say and see that it's a uh, it says like I've been the clock's been running for like 518 so um, I just take a little break I try to do less than 60 seconds most of the time <clears throat> and then when the clock says 618 I'm going again that's something that I started doing started implementing and I think that it really helped progress so uh, let me know what you think let me know what works for you and uh, your your perception on uh, time versus work done in the gym every day uh, so uh, with that being said I'll get into my back workout like I uh, talked about in my video a little bit so I said that I'd tell you all about it started off uh, just four sets of pull-ups to warm myself up uh, the goal was 15 each set I made that goal so maybe should have set a higher goal Put a higher standard, out, stand, higher standard for myself. We'll do that next week. Next week it'll be 18 for four sets. Um, I'd like to work up to doing 20 easy pull-ups, no problem, and eventually work up to doing a muscle-up. That's one of my next fitness uh, kind of milestones that I'd like to make. I know that it's a lot form-based, um, but... Uh, if I can just pull myself up there fast enough, I feel I feel that I'll be able to 
or in the form and get it done easy. So after that, went inside the gym, started with barbell rows. I did uh, five sets of eight reps. I uh, tried to keep it a little heavy. Um, for me, I did 70 kilos or 154 pounds, five sets, four reps, I mean eight reps of five sets, and I did rest pause last, uh, last set, which means I let 10 seconds go by after my last set of eight, and then I picked the bar up again and did four more, or as many as I could do, and wrap as many reps as possible uh, after you rest. For 10 seconds. That's what what's called a rest pause. Um, tried to keep that a little heavy. Um, I rested a little bit longer in between that, uh, those four sets or five sets because they were uh, heavier weight. Um, so I rested a little longer in between those sets but in between my uh, next workouts I rested for less than a minute uh, between each superset. Um, the next thing I did the next superset was uh, seated rows, chin ups, and dumbbell pullover. Did those three exercises, seated rows. I I did uh, I don't know eight felt like the right number today, so I did eight reps on the seated row. That's with the cable. You sit there and pull it into your <clears throat> upper ab abdomen. Uh, that with chin ups, I tried ten reps each set. It was hard. <laughs> I figured out one of my other weak points today was chin-ups. I didn't know I was that weak at chin-ups. I mean, I thought they were easier than pull-ups, but I've been doing pull-ups forever. Never reversed the grip, did chin-ups. So I guess that's something else I got to work on. And dumbbell pullover. Uh, <clears throat> it's with the dumbbell. And you rest your upper back on the bench. You'll really get a good stretch in your lats and your upper chest and pull the dumbbell over. Uh, it's a really good stretching exercise, really good to complement the other heavy heavy exercises that I had done in, in the first two parts of the superset. So when I say superset, I mean all three of those I did back to back, no rest in between each. And um, once I complete the superset, then I do rest for less than a minute then I get into the next one and after that that superset I did the next superset um, with uh, wide grip lap pull downs straight arm push downs and bent over rows uh, and with uh, wide grip lap pull downs I tried to do uh, one one rep in front of my chest or in front of my, uh, to my chest, the next rep behind my back. Um, I did that 16 reps total, eight each, front and behind. Front is a lot easier because uh, I've, over time, I have eventually started cheating <clears throat> on my leg grip pull downs and pulled, pulled my, uh, pulled weight back, uh, which isn't the proper form for leg grip pull downs. Uh, you want to treat it kind of like a pull-up and strictly pull it straight down over uh, under your chin, not way back to the top of your chest. That straight arm push downs, <clears throat> really good um, for lats. Tried to keep them a little heavy um, and still did lots of reps there. I did those, uh, those uh, 20... No, no, 15 reps each uh, for each set uh, in the superset. And then bent over rows. Uh, without the bench, you pull to your chest. You really feel the squeeze. I did a three count uh, for uh, 10 reps. 10 reps each. And that was the next superset. Did that four times, one, one minute uh, or less of rest. Then I got into my last one and did a uh, barbell shrug and uh, reverse back flies. I did that for four, four sets each uh, together as a superset. Uh, barbell shrugs I did 15 in front uh, with, with the bar in front of me, like to my knees. 
And then I did 15 in the back uh, with the bar behind my back. Uh, definitely try that. I have not been doing that as much lately. Um, but within the last couple months, something I introduced and I noticed a lot of growth in my traps. So definitely give that a shot. Uh, what I mean is just pull the bar and hold the bar behind you and then do your uh, same, same movement. It just activates a different part of the trap. The trap is Zodius muscle, I believe it's called. I don't know if exactly what it's called. Um, and that was a lot of fun. That was a, that was a lot of fun workout. I just kind of went um, on my own. No strict program uh, that I was following today. I just did what my heart told me to do, and that's what it did. And uh, like I was saying earlier, the amount you do in one hour is a lot more important than um, staying in the gym for two hours and doing that same amount of work. Um, and I finished all of that in one hour, I believe, about one hour, maybe a little more. Um, and that was a that was a lot of work, lots of supersets, um, very time consuming. And I was I was I was really feeling it. <laughs> uh, and then <laughs> deciding to run the two miles. Being totally untrained to do so <laughs> was interesting uh, because uh, with that and the tire flip afterwards, my the, like the very bottom of my uh, shoot, whoop, very bottom of my quads is killing. It, it's just it's just really it was really burning during the run. I don't know why that is. I guess it's just because I haven't ran in a while, but now I'm really feeling it, and it's going to be sore tomorrow. <laughs> so it was, it was definitely a fun workout, a uh, good thing today. And I'll do my three positives from today and three things to improve tomorrow. <sighs> three positive things. Good workout. <laughs> Probably say that every day, but maybe it's important. Uh, two. Um, learning how to video edit. Um, I'm going to reach out to some of my friends and uh, get their take on uh, good software to use for video editing. But I believe it's a valuable skill uh, that everyone should know. And uh, I think that it will definitely bring more, uh, I, I guess, more excitement to my uh, channel if, if I'm. I don't know. I know you guys don't want to just hear me ramble for 15 minutes every day. So I'm going to try to mix things up, uh, bring some more action in, um, do some editing, uh, get some good good stuff in there. Um, third positive thing of today. Uh, today just went well in general. Um, I thought that it was going to be a bad day. Um, but when I woke up, I just decided it was going to be a good day. So it was. Um, the reason... Uh, if you didn't watch yesterday, I <laughs> I have to work this weekend, which I wasn't pumped about. Um, I had to be in at 8, uh, and I wanted to watch movies late last night and sleep in. Um, yeah. <clears throat> that lazy voice in my head has got to go. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, I think waking up was good for me on a Saturday, even though I didn't want to. Um... So that, that's a positive thing. Waking up early today uh, changes your whole day. You just wake up one hour early, earlier than you expected to. You, you'd be amazed at what you can accomplish in that one hour. Um, three po uh, things to improve tomorrow. Mm. Shoot. Video editing. I'm just going to work on that this weekend. Um, I'm going to get on this uh, trip planning tomorrow. I, I'm going to say that in my vlog so that I can keep myself accountable to doing so. Uh, so uh, if you're interested in going on a Hawaii trip with me, uh, when I come back, let me know. Uh, today, or right now, uh, we have a few people coming uh, indefinitely and a few more prospective people. Um, but if you're interested in going to Hawaii, let me know. and. I'll get you some details. And with that, I'll leave you all. Uh, hope you like the new stuff today. Uh, give me some feedback on what I can do better with video editing. 
uh, and what I can do better with uh, my channel. So uh, thank you very much, and I hope you guys had a have a have as good of a day as I did. Thanks.